Hi, in this video, I'll demonstrate uh, using the chi-square text test for fitting a distribution. So there's this data in column A um, that I will be analyzing, uh, fitting a distribution um, or fitting a given distribution and then figuring out whether that distribution is a good fit or not. Um, so, so I'll be using some Excel capabilities here. So first let's uh, use uh, for this data with 60 points that is in column A. I will um, first do some summary statistics using Excel's um, data analysis uh, capabilities. So I go to data, there's data analysis. Uh, if that's not included or, or not visible in your um, Excel, you can go through File and Add-ins. Uh, so here we go to File, Options, um, Add-ins. And then um, um, we'll select them from inactive application add-ins. I think it's the analysis tool pack. So you will add that uh, and select that and say uh, add in and go. And that should add it uh, into your uh, ribbon here. And so you can go look at that. So anyway, once you have it selected uh, in edit it, add it to your Excel, I'll bring it up. And out of these, I'll select descriptive statistics, say, okay. First, we'll have to select the range. So I'll go ahead and select the range. Uh, they have to define the output range and output range, I'll go ahead and select column C. And, you, and doesn't have to be column C, you can, can be in, in any place you wanna place it. Uh, and then actually, let me do it and um, column C2, um, and I'll show you so that I can write on top of that. Uh, and then uh, all you want is summary statistics, and I'll go ahead and say, okay. And so now it has brought out some of the stats about the data we have. And what I left it here for is I'll put that as step one descriptive of statistics. So we have some, um, so we can see from here, the mean is 104.55, the median, standard deviation, range, and so on. Uh, minimum value of six, maximum value of 411, and there are 60 data points. Uh, now we'll get a histogram analysis. And so same again, I'll go to data analysis, pick up histogram, Okay, and then I'll pick up uh, the range here again for histogram. Uh, actually, first I want to see what's the, then it automatically selects output range. Uh, let's put it right over here. So let's say output range you wanted right in uh, here somewhere. And that should be it. So I go ahead, oh, this, yeah, that's okay. Okay, so that shows us, uh, it created one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, bins uh, with the num data points here. So I'll put that as a step two histogram generated by data analysis. So it has some a little bit of odd selection of bin. First one is up to six, and then we got six to 63, and then so on. 
And so what I do, and also to uh, kind of match uh, in the solution that as an ex this is an example from the book, uh, textbook, and so to match the solution in the book, I'll have it set up the bins uh, based on uh, our selection rather than taking the one which uh, Excel came up with. So I'll use um, going basically uh, bins of about 60 each. Uh, and so that's why uh, they're doing 59, 119. And let's see if Excel can calculate that for us. Yeah. And we know the maximum value was 411, so we'll go up to below beyond that. And so this is the kind of bins we want to see, 0 to 59, 60 to 119, and so on. And so we'll go back to um, data analysis. Again, histogram, okay, the data is correct, except now we'll pick up a bin range. And let's write this, uh, these uh, output right here and say, okay. And so that created, uh, in our uh, selection of bins, it figured out the values. And let me put that as step three. So basically we were doing this uh, uh, so that we do not um, use the, the bin up front of, with one point and so on. And, and towards the later stage also there were these uh, bins with fewer items and we thought maybe going by 60 we would have more items. Uh, but this is what we got. And so let's do uh, step four now, which is our um, analysis, chi-square analysis. And so what was suggested was that this fits, this data fits uh, exponential distribution. Um, and so we'll see uh, whether it will fit that well or not. Uh, and so let's do calculation uh, for chi-square test for an exponential distribution and so this uh, you know might be generated by some uh, distribution fitting program um, but that's um, uh, or you might be given this data in some other way that this is the distribution you expected to see and so let's uh, put um, bin range and uh, other information here so we'll do um, beginning of the bin range uh, end of the bin range. Um, how many data points we observed? How many we expected based on exponential distribution? And then we do the chi-square uh, calculation. So that's uh, what we'll do here. Uh, and so for what we have, uh, we'll put zero and 60 here and then fill this up to 360 and these are basically beginning uh, pin numbers and we'll pick up the end numbers from here of uh, bin ranges um, observed and so that we can just pick up from here Expected is where we want to see how many values would have been expected uh, if this were uh, an actually uh, exponential distribution. And so for that, we have to use Excel's capability. So the way, uh, I'll put it here. And so the way this works, uh, we want to see um, uh, how many data points are there. So that needs to be multiplied. So we'll use that. And let me do that, uh, take absolute addressing of that because we'll be using it at, in multiple cells um, times. And now we'll take um, exponential distribution 
uh, difference. So what we are going to do is have the according to the exponential distribution, how many should be fitting between uh, these two points, uh, the, between 0 and 59. So first we'll calculate uh, exponential distribution. The mean for that, uh, oh no, so, so first we have to do uh, the big, um, up to L, how many should be there. And then lambda is actually one over the mean. And so that's what goes here. And then we have to say true for CDF because that's what we are using, uh, the CDF minus again exponential distribution and so this now we want to out, take out of that since of CDF so you want to see how many points uh, should be falling between those these two and so we first uh, took from um, L5 now we'll say between L5 and K5 essentially how many points should be falling per uh, um, the distribution of the exponential distribution and the rest of the data is the same, same mean. And we close off the parentheses and then hit enter. So for that, there should be that many points. Um, and let me just reduce the, okay. Uh, and then the chi-square statistic is basically looking at what are the differences between the two numbers. Uh, so that squared, so that would be, this is how many were observed. This is how many we expected squared. So squared divided by the number expected. So that's the chi-square uh, calculation. And so we should just fill these up. Actually, um, um, we should not really calculate. So we have to look at, per the book, we should look at all the bins which have less than five. We have to combine them uh, to uh, uh, the earlier bin. So, so that way we would have uh, more than five. In this case, uh, if we combine these two, will just give us three. If we combine the lower three, that will give us seven, which is more than five. But then the the fourth from the top or from the bottom is only three. So we need to combine really these four bins. So so let me then um, gray these out so that we know we are not going to use these bins. And I'm going to then re remove the chi-square calculation from here. And I'm going to go back and combine these. So, so this, instead of 3, it's 3 plus 4, 7 plus 3, 10. So I'll change this to 10. And we'll have to change the calculation here. So instead of calculating between um, 180 and 239, we are going to be ca calculating between 180 and 419. So let's change that. So, so instead of L8, we want to have, let's take, delete that, 419. Uh, and so let's put a comment here so that we can follow this. So com combines last four bins since each bin value should be more than five. Okay.
And I guess I'll put the similar comment here. Use this end range from L11. Eleven six three combine last four bins. Okay, so now we have um, the information. Now we can calculate the chi square statistic. Um, chi square statistic. Actually, let's make this large. And so that's basically the sum of the column here. And that gives us 2.53. Actually, let's um, reduce the number of digits here too, just for better presentation. And so now we compare it with the chi-square value from the basically distribution uh, from from the chi-square distribution value at five percent, and so that value is determined as again you'll use Excel function chi inverse. And the probability we are using it for 0, 5. And then we have to write uh, the degrees of freedom, which is n minus k minus 1. n is the number of points. Uh, so we have four wins. Um, k is uh, the, the number of parameters for the distribution that we are using. For exponential, we only use one uh, parameter, the mean, n minus 1. And so with that, that turns out to be 5.99 uh, and so the idea in this is that if your chi-square chi statistic is less than the chi-square value at five percent then we cannot reject the hypothesis so let me write that down since chi-square statistic is less than chi square value at five percent. We cannot reject the hypothesis, and it is a good fit. Okay, so, so that's how one would go about given a set of points and given a uh, suggested uh, distribution, uh, done the chi-square test to verify whether that distribution is a good fit or not. Uh, and in this case, we concluded that it is indeed a good fit.